Hello everybody and welcome back to Undertale, the pacifist run. This is the throne room and in the last exciting episode we got locked in here by vines after getting a mysterious phone call from what is probably an evil zombie flower created by a mad scientist. Uh, so what we're going to be doing this episode was going to be meeting, we're going to be meeting our old buddy Asgore. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Cody. So, it's empty. So there are like 12 things wrong with those lines right there. Let's count them. There's a name engraved on it. Cody. That's six things wrong with this. It's empty. That's not the six things wrong with this. We encountered this in the last run, but we didn't know what it meant at the time. But now we're starting to get more hints that we might not have been the only Cody around the place. Which would explain why there's a coffin for me that's empty. Uh, because we got, we heard some messages from, well, we, we had some like video footage that didn't have any video that was about uh, everyone interacting with some Cody or another. So it's very interesting. So we're going to head into the throne room. Normally, our buddy Asgore would be here. Uh, and he would say, here, let's, let's recreate it. Oh, hello, I'm just gardening. Do you like a cup of tea? No, we have to fight over oh, dearie me. Um, but unfortunately, um, this time around, we're not going to do that. Because last time, at the end of the last episode, uh, I was kind of stuck without a save point. So I went, I had to go forward a little bit to find a save point. But there was nothing new in, there was nothing new in, in, in that area. So... If you want to see if you want to see that cutscene again, find this episode in my neutral run. So we'll head up here to where Asgore really is waiting for us now. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Oh, back so soon. How are you feeling? I'm ready. I see. This is it then. Ready? I'm always ready. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human? It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Huh? Excuse me, that was... That was the final boss battle? Hey Toriel, did, did you, did someone, someone hit, someone hit the final boss with a fireball and sent him flying off screen? Have you seen anyone around? No, it's you, or it was you, wasn't it? You hit, you hit Asgore with a fireball and destroyed the final boss for us. Well, that's great, great. That's the perfect anticlimactic ending for this pacifist run. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately it would burden you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have to defeat Asgore. However, I realized I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, he deserves mercy too. Tori, you came back! Do not Tori me, dreamer. Oh, she used your last name. That's bad news. Look, look, he knows. He knows it from his face. That's his. That's his. I'm in trouble face. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here meekly, hoping another human never comes. 
Tori. You alright? I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? No! <laughs> look, look at both of their faces here. Look at, look at his sad, look at his sad, pathetic little monkey face. Right there. Is that a monkey? No, it's a bull, right? Is that, that's what the horns are, I think. Or a goat? Look, I don't know what exactly what he, he looks like some sort of demon king looking thing. But he looks like a sad one. Yeah. How's it going, human? Nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends, or else I'll... I'll... Hello, I'm Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah? Nice to meet you. This final boss battle, boss battle has derailed. Hey, how's it going? Is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> the facial expressions here are all great. Hey! Nobody hurt each other, you're a little bit late. Uh, because if you want to nobody hurt each other, you should have stopped yourself from creating horrible abominations in the name of science. Oh, are you another friend? I'm Toriel. Hello! Uh, hi! There's two of them? Hey, nobody fight anyone! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello! Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst, hey, human! Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? Hey guys, what's up? That voice! Oh, the best- the besties have- are meeting face to face for the first time. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too! I'm Toriel. So nice to meet you. The name's Sans. And, uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Papyrus is blushing, which is impressive for a skeleton. Your brother has so told me so much about you. Wowie. Can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. This is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles his roof with... Shingles. I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> Come on, Asgore. It's going to be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah, Asgore. Undyne is totally right about that fish thing. Sometimes you've just got to uh, find a fish that's standing right next to you. I mean, stop going after fairy boss monsters and uh, just get to know a really cute fish. It's a metaphor. Well, that's... Look, it's close enough. Oh, I know that leg. We all know that leg. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys? No. He's right. Let's do it. <laughs> Every facial expression in this is precious, you see. Like, Asgore... Asgore looks chopped out of his mind. Undyne is just confused. Don't hold anything back. Well, wait! Not in front of the human. Oh, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. My child, it seems as you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think... I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everyone? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower. <sighs> Good morning, Flowey. I haven't seen you in a while. You idiots. Well, you guys were having a little pow wow. 
I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are going to be mine too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. If you leave the underground satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold a victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Yeah, I see your face there, Alphys. This is your fault. This is this is what you this is what you created by being a mad scientist. Are you feeling ashamed enough yet? If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happier ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied, but that won't happen. You, I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you one million times. Um, I don't like this game. This is not... Oh! What? Is it the power of friendship? Uh oh, Flowey. You didn't count on the power of friendship, did you? No matter what happens, we'll always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry, we're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Come on, this weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But, but somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. You don't have to worry about determination. Oh, look at it. Here's it. Here's all the powers of friendship. Look at the look at the sad flower. That's right. Who has the power of friendship? Not you. You don't have the power of friendship. That's right. I bet you. Well, if you don't think this could be happening, you obviously haven't seen enough anime. You should ask. You should ask Alphys over there uh, to lend you some of her anime. You. I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine! Hey, come on, look. You can't just take away my power of friendship. That's, that's how I win all of my fights. Hey, hey, what are you doing with my power of friendship? Hello? Hello. Greetings. Hello. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. Cody, are you there? It's me, your best friend. Real Dreamer.